Jeremy is hosting a Halloween party for 80 children. He will give each child at least one candy bar. If each bag of candy contains 18 candy bars, which inequality can be used to determine how many bags C Jeremy will need to buy? All right, the first thing you want to do here is read the question carefully and look for keywords. I see at least, which I know is going to make this an inequality. I notice that each bag of candy contains 18 candy bars, and I notice that we're calling a bag of candy C, which is a variable. So we want to know how many bags Jeremy will need to buy in order for each child, and we have 80 children, to have at least one candy bar. So you have to think about this. I'm going to draw a bag here, and I know that there's 18 candy bars in this bag. I know that we need 80 total candy bars, so I'm going to think, okay, each bag is 18. I need at least 80 total, so what am I doing here? I'm counting by 18s, or I'm multiplying each bag by 18. This would be C. This would be 2C. This would be 3C. So C would be 18. 2C would be 18 plus 18, or 36. 3C would be 18 plus 18, or 3 times 18, which would be 48. The pattern here is we're multiplying the number of bags of candy by 18. So it would be 18 candy bars times C, the number of bags of candy, has to be at least 80. If that means at least 80, 81, 82, 83 are all fine. So we need 18 times C to be greater than or equal to 80. We look through our signs. This has the greater than or equal, and it's the 18 candy bars times C, the number of bags, has to be greater than 80. So at least one is going to every kid.